What's up guys, this is Balash from Racing Brick. I'm not sure if you know, but every year there's an event for recognized LEGO fan media that is surprisingly called the Fan Media Days. Usually it takes place in Billund, but unfortunately due to the Covid situation this is the second year that it's happening online. On the bright side, for me this is the first year when I had the honor to participate and the first day of the event was uh, yesterday. Most of the stuff going on there is uh, still embargoed until further notice, but the Powered Up team members had an interesting session yesterday and they were kind to allow sharing the updates immediately and even sent over their slides, so I decided to make this quick update for you during the night. So, first of all I have to disappoint you a little bit. There were no new hardware elements introduced during this session. We already know everything you see here with the simple battery box being the last one arrived, but on the other side it was mentioned that we actually will receive new hardware elements later this year. No any details were shared, but based on the past few years I'm almost sure that we will receive these components with the new Technic sets. This makes the guessing game pretty interesting, since I'm not sure what new stuff can we expect. If you have any ideas or something cool on your wishlist, let me know in the comments. Now related to the Powered Up app. As you know, one part of the app is for the stock profiles of the non-Technic sets with Powered Up components. As an interesting piece of information, it was mentioned that there won't be more new sets coming this year to be included here, we can only expect them next year. This is not so detailed, but still a rare confirmation about new products. Another interesting update is related to the products that have their own application, like the Boost Droid Commander or the Basic Boost set. At some point, we can expect those apps to be retired along with the sets themselves, but we can expect the support and certain parts of the product experience to live on in the Powered Up app. Now about the interesting part, the future developments. The first area is about the new version of the custom controller. As you see with the updated widgets, there will be a possibility to scale and rotate the elements, which was a really missing feature, especially for tablet users. It will be also possible to set value ranges for displays, change the styling, icons, numbers and letters, so basically customizing the interface further. Another key point of customization that might be important for some, but for me it is purely aesthetical, so that wouldn't be on my priority list, custom backgrounds are coming. It was not perfectly clear if you will be able to add your own graphics or if there will be only a library of different backgrounds, but at least there will be some new options. There is a new themed controller with an electric car style interface, again something that does not seem to have a big added value but might look cool. Now these new widgets are definitely awesome. You might say that they don't add to the functionality either, but having some control elements built of LEGO pieces actually do improve the experience and make it more connected to real life LEGO pieces I think. A big visual update for the coding canvas, as you see the style will change very much to a flat design. The goal is to improve the usability with the new design and simplified icons. Interestingly, we did not really get timeframes for the updates, but this one was mentioned to be rolled out until the end of this year. The things mentioned so far were related to the app and the interface, now something more technical. The Powered Up Virtual Machine is a project where the aim is to be able to download and execute code on the hub itself without the active requirement of the smart device. This is a very exciting topic and has so many possibilities, Unfortunately, the related closed alpha testing was delayed, but the team hopes to go forward with it later this year. I think this project is essential to make Powered Up more flexible and to add the ability to use creations without a smart device. As we saw with third-party solutions like Bibrix, this can improve performance and add abilities that are not possible with remote commands. Behavior building is an initiative to add pre-built behaviors to the app, that would enable kids and inexperienced users to use powered up hardware without the need of coding. I'm very much looking forward to see this coming. Now here's the topic that I think is the most important, and luckily the team also recognized that and working hard on documentation. The promise list is pretty impressive here, but I have to say it can't come soon enough. I really really hope to see all this happening this year, because the blog documentation, the tutorials, and an improved help is an absolute must to provide a proper user experience with the Powered Up app. The team is also reaching out to AFOS to understand the needs and to gain feedback, which is again a good initiative. The final slide was a teaser for more exciting things coming. I think most of the stuff you see here were included in the previous slides, but let me know if you find something interesting. That was all shared during the presentation. There was a Q&A afterwards and I asked the team about the support for the Mindstorms and the Spike Prime hubs in the Powered Up app. They definitely have this on their roadmap, 
but unfortunately could not share any exact details about it, although there's a chance that we will see some level of support this year. So, what do I think about this? Well, first of all, I'm very happy that the need for documentation is recognized and the team is actively working on it. I would be very happy to see also a simplified interface for beginners. As it was mentioned, there are some uh, initiatives regarding this, but not sure how flexible it will be. The other updates and refinements are also fine, but the biggest improvement will probably come with the virtual machine functionality if we will be able to download code to the hub and run it without the constant need of an application. So, this is all very cool and promising, but my main concern is still the time factor. Power Functions was discontinued six months ago, and PowerDAP is still very much under constant development. They are working on the documentation and the other key components. I'm totally sure that it will be a very capable system at some point, but what will happen until then? Of course, the app is already available right now. It is pretty versatile and usable for advanced users, but I think it still lacks the ease of use of Power Functions, and this means that people who are looking for a simple replacement to that right now might not find the solution provided by LEGO that would work for them easily. As always, I'm very interested to see your thoughts about the topic. Please let me know in the comments. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. You can also subscribe and tap the notification bell for more exciting updates about LEGO and Powered Up. See you next time. Bye bye.